Okay, so we're, we have the database set up and running. I exited um, that terminal because one thing that we need to do before we run the application is we need to know what the IP of that Docker instance is. And you do that by connecting to the IP of Docker. So the way we do that is whenever we fire up Docker, uh, the quick start terminal, there's a message in here that says uh, default machine with IP 192. 68, 99, 100. That may change for you. So make sure that you copy and paste that number because that's where the application is going to be running in. So let's see what applications we have. We have Docker PS and then it shows the Flash Blog and MarioDB running. So we're going to log in into the, um, into the uh, blog. <clears throat> Docker exec IT blog bash and uh, so finally we're gonna run the application for the first time run server okay so we have the application running but it's gonna be running on this IP so let me spawn a, a, a Chrome instance and see what that looks like So uh, let's see. So if I copy and paste that IP and put port 5000, awesome. Great. This is amazing. So right now we're running the container, um, the application, the block application on the container, and it's running from here. If you see the, the terminal now, you'll see that you get the hits to the application. So we're actually kind of like um, getting a log of what's happening. So if we, uh, let's see, um, let's put the application. So my Docker blog, so I'm gonna do this as a Docker blog, uh, my name and my email and my username, password is test repeat password test and here we go perfect this is actually amazing so now let's try to log in Jorge test and yep it's running perfectly fine um, I can uh, see if I can post yeah I can post there um, I wonder if the image is gonna work so <laughs> let's play with fire here um, I don't know if I have any images uh, here. I don't have any images, so let's try getting an image. Um, <clears throat> Docker. Yeah, let's grab that. Save image as. Put it on downloads docker.png and so let's try to get that okay docker is awesome testing blog post with image uh, we don't have any categories so we're gonna have a category called docker and post wow perfect that is so cool i can't believe that so it's working perfectly fine um and our application is there running uh really well so that's it um that's how you're running the um the application on docker i hope um this uh kind of like um opens your appetite to working more with Docker. Docker is a really amazing um, system. Of course, as you can see, there's a lot of caveats and things that you need to kind of like go around. But like I said, always play with things. Don't be afraid to test things out. And um, and it's, um, it's a pretty cool and exciting uh, feeling to see, uh, you know, things running finally. So, Hope that you enjoyed this uh, this new section, and um, and I'll see you soon in a 
in another lesson that um, that I'm on the works right now.